All right, what we have here is some one inch polysorb. This is in white. And two inch black polysorb. Good stuff, but I can't just hang it on the wall like that. I mean, I guess I can just hang it on the wall like that, but uh, that's not gonna fly in my house, not in my living room. So let's go sit at the computer work up a little design, something to put on the front, maybe a little faceplate of some sort, make it a lot more pleasant to look at if I'm gonna do this. So as you can see here, I tried several different ways to do this. And you can see having the echo show and the thermostat in the way is limiting me a little bit unless I wanna cut around them, which won't look right. So I can only go side by side a certain amount. So I decided two panels on each side and a little bit of an offset because the speakers are a little higher. So something like this. I had some really cool 3D parametric stuff going on right before this and it broke and fell apart like a house of cards when I went to glue it a certain way and I did not want to cut all these pieces again and this is only a third of the pieces right here. So we're gonna do that on another video for another wall. But right now, something like this here. Just a quick little something I threw together. So these things are around 20 by 36. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna laser cut the foam. I'm gonna laser cut the tram, I'm gonna stick it to the front and they should be good to go. I should be able to stick them right onto the wall with these, they're not gonna weigh anything. So before I cut these, I went in and modified the pattern a little bit. You can see I rounded off all the edges, all the corners, a little radius, made the outside edge bigger so it's more of a frame with the inside being a little different. And um, now it's 21 by 36 total. Let's head over here and slice up some acrylic.
All right, these things are just about finished. All I have left is to bring them home and hang them up on the wall. See how they do. If anything, they should look good. Since everything looks better out in the sun, I figured I'd bring them out here for one more glance. As you can see, I decided at the last minute to put these little end caps on, just for looks. So it doesn't look like one big fat piece of foam stuck to my wall. Gives it kind of a little bit better of a look. Time to take them home. All right, here we are at the house, getting ready to put these up. So you don't have a lot of choices with that screen right there in the way, if I want it to be symmetrical. So two on each side, like I was showing on the computer. This tape sticks to this surprisingly good, like real good. All right, those are all done. Looking good. Looking just like the drawing I did. They're looking just how I hoped they would. I don't know how much improvement they're gonna make yet because I got more to do. We got that back wall over there. Maybe a little on the sidewall, but we're going to try to make it tasteful because this is our living room, not a studio. So we got carpets. We got a big couch. We'll put a couple panels up and it is what it is. It already sounds awesome. Doesn't really need much. On video, everything looks smaller, except for me for some reason. But those panels right there, they're 36 inches tall by 21 inches wide. So that's actually a big panel and there's four of them. So... I'm sure it's gonna help a little bit. I know that this is not a studio. This is not a dedicated theater room. So there's gonna be little problems here and there, but for the most part, even without those sound panels, it sounds awesome in this room. I have direct live. I use direct live to set everything up. So that helps a lot with it. So I'm not 100% sure, but it sounds a little different in here. It's not as echoey. It's not gonna fix this entire room. The room needs a lot more work. I'm definitely planning on putting some of this foam back behind the TV. It doesn't have to be fancy or pretty because it'll be behind the TV, but that'll give me a big open space that I can foam out and deaden up a little bit. Got some cool 3D parametric wall art that I want to do with sound treatment inside of it. Maybe do a few other little things here and there. I can't turn this room into a big room full of foam everywhere. I got to keep it tasteful. And of course, shout out to Second Skin for having amazing products. I didn't even know that they had these sound absorbent panels until I went on the website and I'm like, oh, cool. 
So I ordered those up and turned them into this, and here we are. And uh, for right now, thanks for watching, and I'm out.